What's going on everybody? Adam here and welcome back to another episode of The Naughty Escape. Today we're going to do a walkthrough of Riballo's R272. Now a lot of what I'm going to say in this video is going to be repetitive from my last video that I updated or uploaded, excuse me, for the part two of Riballo review in general. This is just going a little bit more in depth of this model and this model only and a little bit of what I think they could change and some of the things that I think is absolutely amazing. So if you guys are ready, let's go. So I love this boat because it's more of a hybrid. Now before we talk about the fishing features that it has, I want to talk to you about more of the leisure side of it for the family oriented part. Because unless you're going to be fishing off this all the time, there's going to be plenty of people out there that want to enjoy this boat with their family, going out to the you know sandbars, on the lake, grilling, just having a good time. So stock right now, it comes with 10 cup holders. One, two, three, both of those are also fishing rod holders. Four, five, six, this is right under the live well here, folds up. Also, there's your bench seat up here. So if somebody's over there, you can enjoy yourself, kick your feet up or just, you know, be social about everything. Uh, it's got two up at the helm on both sides of the steering wheel. And then of course, two right here, making 10. Since we're up here on the front of the boat, we're gonna talk about, it's got the backrest here. I had the R222, it's like 1100 bucks for these things. To me, I think it's the biggest ripoff there is. However, they're absolutely amazing to have. Uh, if you don't have them and you're ordering a boat or buying a boat, I'd recommend definitely getting them. See if you can find them somewhere else, maybe an aftermarket place that'll be a lot cheaper. But uh, definitely love it. Definitely wish I would have had it when I purchased the R222 to begin with. The table over here folds down to a casting deck. Uh, all your, uh, excuse me, attachments fit right here where the bathroom is. Now, you can get this with an electronic head or you can get it with a porta potty. Me personally, I don't want to be cleaning up people's crap. So, and if it's a bunch of the guys out there, you either let it hang out and, you know, if you got to go pee and if you got to go poop, hey, go chump for the fishes. That's what you're fishing for. Uh, women, I don't know. So you guys make your own decision if you're going to use it or not. My R222, we've had it for almost two years. We've only used it one time um, and that's because the wife was on board. But I like to get it out the way. I want to use storage so I can put my scuba tanks in there and of course all the rest of the, my gear in here because there's not a ton of storage space that Riballo gives. Fortunately, it's a give and take type deal. I do want to show you one thing though. And this isn't just the R272, this is Riballo in general. You see the seat? I hope you can see it on camera. All of these little black mold spots. Riballo is notorious for having their fabric on here and it's all throughout the boat. You can see it all throughout here. Look at the seat. Look at that. That's horrible. I purposely did not clean it because I wanted you to see that. I don't know a single person who has a Riballo that hasn't had this issue. Um, it's a pain in the butt to clean, but it can become off. Usually I end up using something like Marine Magic Eraser. I'll put a link in the description below too. They're very cheap. Uh, there's really no difference between just normal Magic Eraser and Marine Magic Eraser. I think they just say Marine and then, you know, charge up the price a little bit. Like in the back, it's definitely got a nice roomy walkthrough transom. Right here, what you're looking at right here, this is your plug so you can charge up your batteries. It comes with three batteries. There's your raw water flush down and there is your fresh water. It actually has two ports for your raw water so you can wash the back of the boat. The hose isn't long enough, you go straight up to the front. 
where your windless anchor system is. That's all electronic. Let me get up here. And right here, you unplug that, hook up your hose. You can wash up the whole front of the boat. Keep it clean all the time. It's easier to clean it than it is to let it go dirty and try to clean it after it's been dirty. Common sense, right? Nine foot, six inch beam. I am six foot tall and I can barely reach from one end to the other end. This thing is huge. This is one of the widest beams in all 27 foot consoles. It also has one of the biggest coolers in there. Now that's a hell of a fish box right there. I do love right here, if you look, the tuna door. I wish Riballo came with smaller boats, like some of the competitors with the tuna door. There is rumors that Riballo's coming out with a 25 foot center console for 2023. It's gonna be twin engine and come with a tuna door. If that's the case, I absolutely think that's gonna be one of the best selling boats. It's probably gonna be the most convenient to buy. And if I would've known that, I might've waited. Uh, I don't know what the price is gonna be though. Obviously, supply and demand, uh, inflation, price are going up right now. I don't know what it's gonna be like two years from now. On to the fishing specs. So stock, this comes with 11 fishing rod holders. You have two on the side. Not only is that a cup holder, it's a fishing rod holder. Same thing with these two in the back, cup holders and fishing rod holders. Of course, you got your flip up seat right here, which is, provides major comfort when you're fighting a fish. You got your tuna door right here on the side. And of course, this is also great for family. Magnets right there. You're going diving. You end up getting your gaff. Rah! Pull that up. You like how I do that? Rah! Pull that up. Man, there's nothing better than fighting a big old fish over here and grabbing that in there, putting it in that cooler, which is huge, by the way. Um, yeah, good to make great memories. Same thing on the front. Now, I do wish they would have put a couple rod holders up in the front. You can do that yourself, especially if you're gonna put like a bow shade up there. Uh, your table also folds down, acts as a casting net. You do have electronic windless anchor, which will help. To be honest, if you're saltwater fishing, I don't really know when you're gonna use the anchor. My suggestion, save up some money, get one of those iPilot trolling motors, which is what I'm saving up for. So if you're gonna be doing some bottom fishing over a reef, it's gonna save you a ton of hassle. Um, also trolling. So I know that it may just be me or one other person trolling over here. I'm saving up. I wanna put some autopilot on this thing because we have the outriggers on here. You have all your other rod holders in here. We can put comfortably about six rod holders out you know trolling in a teaser the issue is when you're trolling and you got a fish you got to reel in all those damn lines and it's a pain in the butt when you only have one or two people because you don't want your lines you know getting twisted up you're gonna lose your fish that way so how do you do it if you're by yourself which i don't recommend but it happens if you're by yourself you're trolling you don't want to stop those motors you got to get all those fishing rods Keep it on autopilot. You're not going to have your boat moving, you know, left or right or turning around where your lines are going to get up there. Keep it going out in the middle of the ocean. You can reel them all in. You're good to go. Autopilot is absolutely a must have. And then, of course, if you're drop, you know, bottom fishing, definitely get a iPilot trolling motor. It comes with the wet sound sound system. It's got a speaker bar right here. Of course, it's got four speakers in there. They are hooked up to an amplifier and there is a 12 inch subwoofer right here. I was actually amazed because I didn't think it would be worth upgrading to a sound system uh, from the Clarion stock system that comes with Riballo. And what I've noticed is the stock system, of course, you're not gonna have really much bass. And if you turn it up, you're gonna blow your speakers anyhow on the stock clearance speakers that come with all Rivalo boats. Uh, going full speed on my R222, I had the 250 motor. Even though it's much quieter, when you're going fast and you got that wind blowing up there, you have to crank it all the way up, turn up the treble and turn down the bass for you to even hear anything. And then it's just a screeching sound. You constantly have to adjust it. This bad boy here, I can go full blast, turn it all the way up. It still hurts my ear. There's a lot of bass on it. The cool part is there's no rattling. One of the things this has that actually nobody even mentioned to me, I was just kind of walking around trying to get used to the boat and feeling it and what all it has to offer, is right here, 
underneath you flip up bolster seats it has a spot where you can put all your fillet knives and a little bit more storage there it's supposed to be used as storage i don't think so but it's open space hey as long as you don't put anything that's electronic or anything because it's still gonna get wet i'd put it in there anyhow and it came with the seat deck it's about four months old um I can't really give you my opinion on it. I mean, don't get me wrong. It looks beautiful. It absolutely feels amazing. I can be barefoot all the time, but I don't know how well it's gonna hold up. I've had several people ask me, hey, how do you like it? Well, right now it's brand new, so I love it. I'm gonna do a video and I wanna show you this right now because in six months to a year, I wanna do an updated video to see how well it's hauled up after we abuse the hell out of this thing, going scuba diving, having fish guts and blood everywhere and see where this thing lasts and is it worth it? Because you're looking anywhere between two and you know almost $7,000 to have stuff like this laid down, uh, depending on what kind of boat you have. So, this is what it is. I'm gonna walk through all the way through. I love the transom. You can walk all the way through. Here's your charging port. It's got two live wells, one on the side here and right where that seat is. You can lift it up. Excuse me, I'm doing this all one-handed. And it's got a live well right in there. Now, if you're not going out deep sea fishing, if you're not using different types of bait and you're not using both live wells, use one as a cooler. Instead of, you know, taking up more room, adding your own cooler, Throw some ice in that bad boy and use it up there or up in the front, which I'm about to show you here. Now, I love that it comes with a table. It actually comes with an attachment that's inside here where this drops down and it acts as a casting platform. These are all removable. Uh, it has absolutely a lot of storage room in there. I don't know if you can see from the glare on there. Um, gash shocks, holds it up. here of course i got the table in the way so it's harder to see uh there's another small cooler in there so it's got your push button cluster on each side looks cool it's all backlit but if you look up here you have lights on both sides stuff that was never mentioned or even that i saw on boattest.com or anything which that went mainly on the specifications on how fast it goes um by the way i was told 50 to 52 miles an hour yeah 46 miles an hour is the top I've had it. However, it is full of fuel, 180 gallons total on this. It is absolutely filled to the top. So once we get it down to quarter tank, I'm sure I'll get a little bit more out of it. Who knows? Uh, two 90 gallon tanks, one on each side. That's kind of a pain though, because you end up going to the gas station. Yeah, you pull up to the gas you know, pump. All right, you're on one side, you fuel up your truck, fuel up your gas on one side, but you don't want all that weight on one side. You want to keep it even. So guess what? Start your truck, turn around, go to the next pump, fuel it up on this side. I wish they'll find out a way where you can just use it as one. I'm sure there's a benefit to it. I'm not an expert, so I don't know. So if you know it, let us all know. So I'm not questioning that. Um, that's pretty much it. Oh, these lights, by the way. So they have your red map lights on both sides. And of course that's to help with your night vision, but they also turn into White lights. It even has, let me look over here. Let me look at the windshield wiper. Never used it before. I don't know if I ever will use it. Cool to have. It's not gonna make me want to buy it or anything more, but just another feature that Rabalo gives. Absolutely like it. Um honestly guys, I don't really know what else to go through at this particular moment. Uh, actually, if you look on the side, you have two rod holders. Ah, see, look at that. That's uh, learned something new before. My other boat, I had rod storage on here and here, and the R242 actually has three rod holders on each side. Looks like this one only has two. Obviously, you can tell I haven't taken this out on the ocean fishing yet. However, that's gonna change. Give me about a week or two. We'll make a video out there. We're going trolling. Um, going to Key West as well too. So, uh, Mahi Mahi's running out there. I don't know if we'll be able to hit it for red snapper season. But I think that's gonna be about it, guys. If you have any questions, 
I don't know all of the answers. We'll figure it out together. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe.